Adored by poets, plagiarized by artists, parodied by critics and even stolen by an Italian workman, the most famous painting in the world by the most celebrated artist in the world, Leonardo da Vinci. A man who completed barely 20 pictures, but whose influence was immense. A man of enormous curiosity, who investigated everything from the possibilities of flight to the workings of the human blood system, and whose intellect illuminated the world in which he lived. For centuries, Raphael's painting was held to be the most complete expression of the values of the Italian Renaissance. While his older contemporaries sought to reproduce nature, Raphael sought nurture and an idealized vision of the world. He was a sensualist whose work was graceful and harmonious and which for many in his world came closest to visual perfection. Look at a Vermeer painting and everything seems crystal clear. Simple scenes of women going about their daily tasks. And then you look again and realize that nothing is quite what it seems. There's a mystery unfolding before your eyes. The pictures are as elusive as their creator who was virtually unknown in his lifetime his reputation based on less than 40 works, but who created some of the most intensely mesmerizing images in Western art. J.M.W. Turner is widely regarded as the greatest artist that Britain has ever produced. When Turner was asked the secret of his success and the secret of his genius, he said, I have no secret except damned hard work. And he is one of the most prolific artists, not just in British history, but in the history of art. But it isn't just quantity through which Turner's life should be measured. There's a vision in Turner that is unsurpassed in British art. He took landscape painting into new territories, using paint in magical ways which captured the wildness of the natural world around him, but which bordered on abstraction. Today we venerate his seemingly unruly brushstrokes, but in the 19th century, they caused an outrage.